Noddy Nancy Goes to School, illustrated by John S. Gouda. Today is a special day for Nancy. Her mother is happy and worried at the same time, because Nancy goes to school for the first time. Knowing her daughter very well, her mother gives some advice to the teacher. The teacher listens carefully to each detail that Nancy's mother says. And the teacher says, Don't worry so much about your daughter. What is so bad that can happen? She's a sweet little girl. Look at her. After talking, Nancy's mother gives some advice to Nancy. Please behave, my daughter. I wanted to hear good things about you at the end of the day. Her mother says goodbye and goes back home, leaving Nancy at the school. Nancy doesn't say a word. She is really upset. The teacher rings the bell and asks the children to go to the classroom. In the classroom, the teacher starts to read a Dick and Jen book. After 10 minutes, Nancy gets really bored. She cannot stand listening to the teacher anymore. So then, Nancy has a brilliant idea. She starts to jump in her chair and is upside down when the teacher turns her back to them. The teacher keeps reading the book since she doesn't see what Nancy is doing yet. Everybody's looking at Nancy with surprise. Nancy has another great idea. Since she is not happy with the boring class, she decides to make the class more interesting by pretending to be the new teacher. The teacher gets really angry and throws the book on the floor. She also points her stick at Nancy and says, Stop, Nancy! Get in your seat right now or leave this class. Nancy leaves the class very gladly because she finally gets what she wants, which is not to listen to the teacher anymore. In the lunch break, Nancy enjoys playing ball with the boys. It's really hard for them to play with her because she's really strong and faster than they are. Suddenly, she hits the ball so hard that it gets stuck on the top of the roof. Everybody was thinking what to do. Nancy, the tinker, has another crazy idea. She jumps to the top of the roof and saves the ball. But, unfortunately, the ball escapes from Nancy's hand. The ball hits the teacher's head. Everybody laughing. Even Nancy cannot control herself and laughs. Now, it's time for the school outing. Everybody is happy to be outside of the school, especially Nancy, who loves the nature. She behaves in the line when the teacher is watching her. Once the teacher stops looking at her, she jumps in the bus to catch the best place to sit. Nancy is very excited because she has never been on a trip before. She is the only one who sings during the entire trip. Tired of being in the same seat, Nancy turns backwards and enjoys seeing her head fly in the air like a kite. Now they arrived at the beach. Nancy cannot control herself again and leaves the bus and does cartwheels, letting the teacher become very worried once again. Everybody's playing while Nancy is planning her next trick. Then Nancy sees the teacher sleeping and again has an idea. Nancy covers the teacher with sand. Nancy thinks it's very funny, but nobody's paying attention to her. Now it's time for the puppet show. Nancy gets bored very quickly and plans her next trick while she's watching the play. 
Nancy hides behind the place where somebody's making the play. Boo! Suddenly, she appears in the middle of the play, scaring all the other children. <coughs> Then, she runs in the direction of the ocean. The playmaker is very angry at her for having destroyed his work. While Nancy is walking on the beach, she sees somebody asking for help, help, in the middle of the ocean. She is really worried and thinks of some way to help the poor little guy. Nancy finds an anchor and a rope beside her. She uses her heart and her strength to help save the poor little guy. Everybody's looking at her astonished. She can save the little boy with the anchor and the rope. She pulls it very hard, all by herself. Finally, the situation is in her control. She brings the little boy to the shore alive. Everybody is impressed by her action. After this event, Nancy has her name changed. Instead of not Nancy, everybody starts to call her the Valiant Nancy. Her act of bravery saved someone's life and makes everybody admire her. They love Nancy so much now. She is very happy, especially because her mother would hear good things about her.